In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a soft glow effect. I'll be using two different pictures to show this effect and I'll leave both of them linked in the description. I'm starting with this picture and the first thing I need to do is duplicate it. So I'm holding my finger on the screen for a second and letting go. And then I'm clicking duplicate. And then I'm going to the layer studio. So you can see there's two copies. And I'm making sure I'm on the top layer. Then I need to add a blur, so I'm going to the Filter Studio. I'm going to Blurs. I'm turning on Add Light Filters, which just means you can add the filter non-destructively. And I'm adding a Gaussian Blur. I'm bringing the radius up to around 10 pixels for now. I'm going back to the Layer Studio, and I'm clicking on the top layer. Then I'm clicking on these three dots. I'm clicking here and I'm changing the blend mode to screen. And that's now added a nice glow, but you can always lower the opacity if it's too much. Or you can go back to the Gaussian Blur layer by double tapping on it, and you can increase the radius. And increasing the radius will just add to that soft, dreamy look, but you don't want to go too high on the radius either or the details will be lost. So I'm going to leave the radius on around 15 pixels for this picture. And just to add to it a bit more, I'm going to the Adjustment Studio and I'm adding a Curves Adjustment. I'm clicking here and I'm bringing this bottom node up a tiny bit. And this will bring the shadows up, which will give it a more faded, low contrast look. And I'm just bringing the opacity down a bit more. I'll be using this picture for the second example, just because I want to show how the effect works on different pictures. So again, I'm starting by duplicating it. I'm going to the Filter Studio, Blurs, Add Live Filters, and Gaussian Blur. I'm bringing the radius up to 10 pixels. I'm going to the layer studio and I'm clicking on the top layer, then the three dots and I'm changing the blend mode to screen. And I'm lowering the opacity a little bit. I'm going back to the adjustment studio and I'm adding a curves adjustment. I'm clicking here and I'm bringing the shadows up. And for this picture, I'm bringing the midtones down. So I'm clicking on the line to make a new node and I'm dragging that back towards the centre. And if you want this effect to be stronger, you can duplicate the layer with the Gaussian Blur. But I think that's a bit too much for this picture, so I'm going to delete it. 